Hey guys, what's up? It's Kyle from Cairo Apps here, and today it is about making an alert view with some actions. Um, of course, these actions uh, from my tutorial are going to be based on uh, web views. If you guys want uh, some uh, views so that you can have it inside your views, like say you have, um, please like please go to info tab or music tab and there would be a button that would say uh, music tab or cancel but for mine it's all about uh, web view using the web view so it's going to have a link to YouTube and a link to my YouTube channel so let's get straight into it so open up Xcode and create a new project make sure it is a single view application and we're going to name it UI alert view with actions and as always I will be using the iPhone as a device and not using storyboards anymore if you watched uh, I think the past two videos of mine have been using uh, XIB files go ahead and save this to the desktop for easy access and now this is all about automatic uh, how to get it automatically so if you want to get this code to display when a button is pressed you want to uh, watch the close to the ending of this video but uh, go ahead into the .m file and as always we will have our notepad and of course, Xcode. So here's all the code. It's a little bit, but it's it's, it's okay. Um, what we're gonna do is take out uh, the comments here and select enter again. Now this is under view did load, which means it will automatically. Well, this is where you would put code that you want automatically to show up, but you do have to, as you can see here, make it show. So first off, you want to write UI alert view star alert equals two opening brackets so we're not brackets um, those things um, and UI alert view allocate I think that's how you say it and just close one bracket and in here write uh, I N I and then the last one with like cancel button message title and your title we're just gonna write your title goes oh yeah take up that um, first you actually wanna write the at sign and two quotations and write now this is where you would put your title so I'm gonna write your title oh my goodness your title goes here and then in the message the same thing the out sign and two quotations um, we're just gonna write your message goes here and of course and the delegate set this to nil cancel button just the at sign and two quotations inside here write cancel whoops and other buttons you want to write the at sign again two quotations then another at sign and two quotations in between the two um sorry the quotations and the at sign write a comma inside the first quotations I'm gonna write go to YouTube and the second one, we are going to write go to YouTube channel. And of course, the semicolon and closing bracket. Um, and next, we want to write alert, sorry, open bracket, alert, uh, show. Which basically will mean that you're showing this alert and the alert will have uh, these certain things in it. Now you can run this all you want 
and it will come up with your buttons, it's just none of it will lead to anything. So that's where the actual code comes in. So right, uh, dash, I think, yeah, dash, uh, opening bracket, void, closing bracket, alert, view, uh, colon, UI, alert view, not colon, uh, colon, and then an opening bracket, and then a closing star, sorry, uh, space star, closing bracket, then alert view, space clicked, and that's all that code, it's the only one there, um, and opening the brackety thing, and closing the brackety thing, um, actually, I'm going to fix that, close that off, so you guys can see a little bit better. Um, now, inside here is where we have to have the uh, button actions. So, if, uh, opening bracket, button, index, two equal signs, one, and then a closing bracket, open a brackety thing, and close another brackety thing, and open up two brackets, there's too many brackets in this, oh goodness, um, and write UI application shared application, close one bracket, and write open URL And this is where you put your URL. So the at sign and two quotations and the URL. So since this is going to be directing it to a, uh, sorry, not a, the YouTube, just write uh, HTTP colon slash slash forward slash forward slash actually YouTube.com and then a forward slash again. Close the bracket. Sorry, close two brackets and a colon. And that's it for uh, that code there. Possibly. <laughs> we actually... No. It's, that's okay. <laughs> now, if you guys want to have two actions, which I will be, you just want to uh, write in here, the same thing you did, only with number two. So I'm just going to copy it in since we already did it, and it's sort of pointless. And that's it. Of course, we have to have our, our closing bracket to close it all down. And now let's run this in the simulator. Of course, after this loads, I will be showing you guys how to get this attached to a button, but it's not really used for a button a lot, so personally I would rather it show up um, automatically over the uh, over the button. So there's our view, and automatically it uh, this will open up, and with our title, our message, and the two buttons, and of course the cancel button. So if we select this, it will take us to what will it take us to? I actually. I uh, forgot something in here, so let me just fix that for you guys and uh, break down that little space there. Now it's not working, so I'm getting very disappointed in this. Huh. Let's attach this to a button, because buttons always help. Actually, I'll come back to you guys in three, two, one. I actually figured out what the problem was. Um, there was actually 
a problem with my code in this area, you would now be able to see the difference. Um, it is now all hooked up to a button, and also in here, let me just center that for you guys. Um, so after you have this attached to the button, now that we have it in the button, this also will work in the view did load. I already tried that out. Um, if you want, I can uh, do that, but not right now. Uh, probably in another video where I show you guys a full tutorial on how to make a game app or a view app or anything, which I actually have a plan on. I just need to come up with some ideas. But after you have all this set up, you want to go into your XIB file, select your view, go into attributes, and change this to 3.5 if you were developing for a 3.5. Go into the landscape, actually, portrait, and let's uh, get rid of that uh, status bar and change the background color. Let's go with a green. Drag in a round rec button, and we're going to call this alert. And let, since we're being all like this, let's change the text color to like a red. And let's change the background of the uh, button to a different color. So it, all you have to do is select the button and scroll down, select background and choose color. Also guys, you have to go up and select custom to make the whole button uh, that. So since that's a pink, let's change the color to a blue. So after you have that, we go into Files Owner and we go into the connection, connection, sorry. Drag the alert over to the alert button and make sure it is touch up inside. Now we can run this on the simulator. Select the button and there you go. Title, the message. I also had to change that just to make sure it wasn't anything and want to keep it short so we go to YouTube there you go you have the YouTube banner and it is actually YouTube's website now we can go back into the alert and the view I mean the alerts gone but we can select it again which is a little bit better but the view it's only for a one-time thing unless you go back to the view so that's good now we can go to my YouTube channel and there it is my YouTube channel um, Thanks guys for almost so close to 1,500 views. Right now it's 1,451, 1, uh, which is still amazing for me. Um, and 20 subscribers, woo! That's actually really good for a developer, so donate. But anyway, I hope you liked the tutorial, guys. Sorry it was a bit messy in the end, but uh, a bit messy in the middle, but we got it figured out during the end. That's all that's important. Uh, the source code will be down in the description if you want to download this exact project with the uh, view and everything. Um, also, if you have any other video suggestions or uh, video requests, as some people may say, please leave them in the comment section below or Skype me at Kyle Greenlaw. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Peace.